it's a new thing, but it's actually something that I think uh, has been in the back of my mind for a long time. From video game composer to Nevada Republican congressional candidate, we sit down with Marty O'Donnell. In a rare bipartisan effort, House lawmakers pass a TikTok ban bill, what it could mean for the app moving forward. You're watching Politics Now with John Langer on 8 News Now. Thank you for joining us. We start with a surprise candidate filing from last week. It comes from Congressional District 3. Marty O'Donnell is a successful video game and jingle composer, and now he's joining the Republican primary to face Democrat Susie Lee. This week I sat down with him to talk about his unexpected campaign. So let's talk a little bit about your background here. You don't really have a political background, but you've jumped into this race. Uh, tell the viewers and the voters who you are and why you decided to get into politics. Well, I don't know if I decided to get into politics because I really don't want to be a politician. Um, but I do want to do my duty, which I think is a civic duty. I think the founders uh, set the system up so that people who have had some sort of career, some sort of success. Now it's time to do your duty, go to Congress, don't stay too long, and uh, do what you need to do. I've worked for big corporations and I've started several small businesses. I've been successful. I know how to collaborate. I know how to work with people. And uh, I think having someone who's got a creative side to them to come into the political arena I don't see how that could be bad. I think that's a good thing. It's going to give a different perspective to some of these conversations. It's already gotten the attention of uh, Elon Musk, who tweeted yeah. essentially uh, <laughs> that we need more Martys. Do you, have, do you have any connection to him whatsoever, or is it just that you, you worked in tech and he's in tech? Uh, well, the only connection that I can imagine is that he's played Halo. Okay. So, Which you but I music never for. thought. Yeah, and I did the music for Halo, and I worked on Halo for over ten years, and. Uh, uh, I, so I, I, I'm assuming that somehow somebody must have told him that I was running and showed him my tweet and my little trailer. And uh, maybe he just had some halo memories and decided to be nice. It was great. I was thrilled. So let's, speaking of tech, uh, it's not exactly apples to apples here, but right now Congress is talking about this uh, TikTok yeah. ban. It's already gone through the House, going to the Senate, maybe the president's desk. What concerns might, do you have about whether it's TikTok or maybe other social media uh, platforms that you think lawmakers need to take action on? What action would you support? Um, you know, I'm looking at this closely. But I, I'm, as a conservative, as a sort of an old-school conservative, I don't like especially the idea of the federal government getting involved very much at all in any sort of business, messing around with businesses. And there is a sort of free speech element here that, that I'm concerned about. Your contention is that, you know, as a, as a conservative, as you're describing, you don't want to get involved in sort of free enterprise and, and the yeah. business. The argument, some might say, is that if China's not allowing American businesses in in some respects, why should it go the other way around? You know, if, if right. certain media outlets from the U.S. can't be in China, well, um, is there some sort of a fair trade deal there? Yeah, I, I'm, like I said, old school conservative, so Milton Friedman is a hero of mine, and uh, when he describes, for example, this is almost like a free trade question, but he, I remember him saying something where, hey, if they want to send us hard goods and we just send them paper money, that seems like a, a, a pretty good deal. So the balance of trade or what's fair in trade or if they do this to us, we should do that to them. I'm not really sure that really works all that well, but obviously I'd like to look more closely at it. I think TikTok is a relatively unique kind of thing in social media. So I'm hoping that, I, I'm hoping that they divest and um, it's, it's no longer in the control of Chinese communists. Speaking of uh, economic issues, you know, that's a concern for voters. That's not uncommon. That's normal, of course, yeah. uh, at any time during the year and, and during the season. Now, the numbers, if you look at them, they seem to show some improvements, whether it's growth, salaries, you know, when it comes to some aspects of trade. From your point of view, what would you say is maybe wrong with the economy? What would you like to address if you're elected to Congress? Inflation is not caused by manufacturers or businesses. Uh, it's caused by the government, and, and the government policies need to change. N first and foremost, we have to stop this outrageous spending. Marty O'Donnell, we thank you for joining us, and well, uh, we'll see how the race goes. All right. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, John. Appreciate being here.